The Western Line What is Dartmoor's Western Line? Dartmoor National Park is a mountainous region in southwest England, known for its tours, which are rocky outcrops in woods or on top of hills, its camping freedom and its hiking possibilities. It can be divided into three columns, the Eastern Line, the Central Line and the Western Line. The East is very highly populated with tourists and city visitors. The Central Bar contains many tours difficult to access and is more appropriate for adept walkers who have walked the moors for many years. The Western Line is less focused on by tourists, but still very accessible and offering some higher skill walks, and that is what I will be focusing on in this series. How is the perimeter of the Western Line defined? The Western Line is mainly scored along its western side, at the edge of Dartmoor, facing Cornwall, by the A386 main road, between Oakhampton and Plymouth. At the top of the Western Line are the towns of Oakhampton and Belston. At the bottom of it are the village of Water and the city of Plymouth. The eastern edge of the Western Line is where it meets the Central Line. This can be defined as follows. Beginning in the north, heading south. 1. The River Tor acts as a border to begin. Thus, the Walrus Stone is on the Western Line, but Ladybrook Tor and Cosden Beacon are outside it on the Central Line. 2. Oak Tor is on the Western Line, but Metherall Hill is not. Below this, the borderline turns west. 3. Fordsland's Ledge is on the Western Line, but Dinger Tor is not. The line turns southwest. 4. Kitty Tor is on it, Lint Tor is not. 5. Green Tor is on the Western Line. The borderline almost touches it. 6. The Tavy Cleave Tors are on the Western Line whereas the Rattlebrook confluence with the River Tavy is outside it. On the central line, the line turns south. 7. Lynch Tor and the Limsborough are on it. The Walkham River head, or source, is not. 8. Langstone Moor Circle is on it. Clay Tor is not. The borderline turns southeast here. 9. Great Mist Tor is on the western line. Greener Ball is not. 10. Mistor Marsh is Western. Black Dunghill is Central. 11. Princetown is contained within the Western Line, whereas Blakey Tor is not. It is on the Central Line to the east. The border line turns south. 12. South Hessery Tor is contained. Peatcot Hill is not. The line turns southwest. 13. Coombs Head Tor is Western Line, but Eelsborough Hill is Central Line. 14. Gutter Tor is on Western, but Eastern Tor is on Central. The line turns to head south now. 15. Great Trailsworthy Tor is Western Line, Hexton Tor is not. At this point, the Western Line and Central Line finally split away from each other to part ways as the border lines avoid the White Hill Yeo China Clay Mine, a large expanse of white as seen on satellite view. 16. The Western Line curves left, west, to avoid the China Clay Mines, while still containing Big Pond. 17. Saddlesborough Hill and Luxton Tor remains are contained within the Western Line on its eastern edge here. 18. At Hawks Tor, which is contained, the eastern edge of the Western Line jinks to face southeast, underneath the China clay mines now. 19. 
The tours underneath, that is to say south of, the China clay mines are contained in the western line. They are collected until we reach Crown Hill Tor, the most southern tip of the western line of Dartmoor. At this point, the line encircles this tor underneath, and the western edge of Dartmoor National Park can be easily followed via maps such as Ordnance Survey or British Mountaineering. 20. There is one exception. An outrigging section of tours at Horrorbridge and Buckland Monocorum region I have included into the western line in the west. Despite not being technically part of Dartmoor, a special exemption is made to include the tours surrounding West Down and Berra Tor. 21. Further north on the western edge, Brent Tor is likewise included. Other than that, the western edge of the western line follows Dartmoor's map borders. Why is the western line defined this way? Through my attempts at walking and hiking these regions to bag, also known as visit, these tours, I have discovered a certain threshold for accessibility from the local roads to the A386 that permit ease of parking a car and walking for a few hours a day from these roads towards the core of the moor. The western line's eastern limits, usually bordering against what I call the central line, which are tours outside this threshold, are worked out this way. This realistically provides time for you, if stationed just outside the moor at any point along its western edge, to drive to the moor in the early part of a day, reach the nearest accessible point to the most inner tour shown, and have a few hours walking accounting for things like bad terrain, bogs, steep hills and obstacles, reverse your track and return to your car, and leave before daylight becomes night, even in winter times when days are shorter. What are zones? The western line has been further split up into subcategory areas I have called zones. These zones generally highlight a region where tours and features are collected together into a shared area where they are somewhat like neighbours. Can I visit all the tours of the western line of Dartmoor? It depends. Some tours are on private land, and you can contact the landowner to arrange a short visit. Some landowners do make their tours naturally accessible via footpaths for public just to see the tours. Other landowners do not like it when you attempt to visit, notably and famously places such as Vixen Tor, which is easily viewable from many places, but on private land. I will try to highlight these kinds of tours where possible. Many private land tours can still be viewed from outside the borders that contain them, if you are at the right angle on public land. Most of Dartmoor is publicly accessible land, and unlike many national parks in England, you can camp on most of Dartmoor, particularly in the west. Thank you for watching this video introduction to my detailing of the Western Line tours of Dartmoor in southwest England. Please subscribe to watch further videos about the zones and tours within it, and how you can reach them.